Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Everything You Love. I'm Rob Arnold, and on today's show, I'm going to be taking you with me down to Columbus, Ohio, to see Slayer on their final campaign tour. These shows were booked as their final shows, the last ones, so I decided to go check it out and document the entire process for you and for me, you know, just to, to have some fun with it. So I filmed the entire journey there, the way back, the day down there while we were down there, everything we did leading up to the show, the opening bands, my thoughts on them, everything. So it should be cool, and I think it turned out really well. Um, I and, and my band, Kamira, actually have quite a history with Slayer. Back in 2001, they took us on their God Hates Us All tour, which was absolutely incredible in so many ways. First of all, as kids growing up worshiping Slayer like, like everybody, just to one day have your band have the chance to tour with Slayer that we were selected. I mean, how many bands submitted for that tour and everything. So thank you to our management and label and everything at the time that made that happen. I don't even remember exactly how it happened, but it did. And uh, just, just such a cool experience. I vividly remember even the drive down, the anticipation, the excitement, all of us. Uh, it was funny. We, we arrived in New Orleans for the first show. It was at the House of Blues down there. And um, Slayer sound checks, American Head Charge, the other band on the bill, they sound check, and it's our turn to sound check. So we get up on stage, and we had been, you know, respectful the whole time. At least, at least I, I had been. I just kept to myself. I hadn't met Slayer yet or anything like that. I think I maybe saw him around. Or at this time, I'm like a 21 year old kid, you know, but still just excited and all that. So, anyways, we're sound checking, and we start looking up, or somebody nudges, you know, like, hey, look up there. And, and there's, at least Carrie and Tom from Slayer, maybe, I can't remember if Paul and Jeff are watching too, somebody will have to confirm that from the band, but they're just standing up there like this, watching us sound check, you know, so we've joked around for years after that now how nerve wracking that was, but they ended up being so cool, so so cordial to us, just uh, what a fun tour, what a, what a great experience for us in so many ways. Uh, we, we, we owe Slayer so much for teaching us everything about professionalism and the way they did things and it was super cool that we modeled a lot of the way we did things after. Um, they really helped put us on the map. It's, uh, it's like a, a badge of honor to have toured with Slayer, but at the same time that comes with something else. You have to be able to impress the Slayer fans or at least hope that they'll tolerate you. Otherwise you get booed off stage with the, the legendary Slayer chant. And we were very fortunate that we were able to avoid that um, maybe we got it once or twice here or there, but it, it wasn't really that bad. Um, but, but yeah, again, Kerry King just talking about Kamira in interviews that he was doing and talking about how he liked the impossibility of reason and just that support in the media and everything that, they, that Slayer showed for us just really, really helped propel our career. Um, also meeting Jägermeister on that tour and then having a, a great fruitful relationship with Jägermeister after that for years and all the promotion and things that they did for our band. So we just have, we're just have in debt to Slayer so much. Uh, Kerry King uh, hooked us up with Kevin Talley um, when we were in need of a drummer to make our, our self-titled record. Um, so just, just again, so many thanks go out to Slayer and uh, it was just a, an, an awesome thing uh, to be able to go down and check out this last show. Um, a couple of my buddies, when I told them I was going to be doing this, mentioned like, oh, oh you're going you're to hit the guys up for tickets and stuff like that. And, you know, I mean, maybe I could have. I don't know. I, I, it's not like I've kept in touch with Slayer over the years. I haven't. You know, I, those guys are just still gods to me that I, I was I was intimidated being around them then, you know. And I, I don't know. I just wouldn't. I thought a, a, a cold call out of the blue for me 15, 20 years later or whatever would have been kind of inappropriate. Even though, I, I mean, I know some other guys on the tour, all that. I probably could have got hooked up backstage, all that kind of stuff. But I didn't want to. And that's the point of why I'm saying this. I wanted to go to the show and experience it as a fan, which I am, which we all were at the show. Um, so I, I knew that from the get-go. I just wanted to kick back in the arena front and center, but in like the lower bowl of the arena and just be able to sit and watch the show the whole time. And that's exactly what, what we did. So me and a couple buddies uh, got together, took the trip down there. Um, and just knowing that I was going to do that, I, I purchased my tickets, got everything solidified, planned it all out, booked the hotel. And just it was, it was just kind of a cool thing that I never really do and just really had some fun with it and it ended up being really cool. So um, let's strap in and uh, Check out how the uh, experience went. What's 
up? The journey has begun. We are on our way to Columbus, Ohio. Who are we seeing? Slayer! It used to, it used to be easier to get like super excited and yell it out when you're younger, you know? Now we're kind of yeah. like a little older, yeah. you know? It's like... Slayer! So, yeah. <laughs> but anyways, I'm here with uh, singers extraordinaire, Matt Demko back there. Say, we'll say what's up, singer of the disaster. Singer of the Disaster, our project The Disaster there. He'll tell you everything's all right, if you, as long as you keep it that way, you know, and check out his view, you know? Though we're here, Mr. Josh Nicek. What's going on? Singer of our project, kind of temporarily titled Arnold and Check. Yep. Uh, you know, it's just, just what we were calling in the meantime. Kind of like, you know, uh, Crosby, Stills, and Nash, but with two guys, uh, you know. So anyways, we're gonna figure it out, but uh, I tell you, we're all super excited to see Phil Anselmo and the Illegals uh, do the Pantera set tonight. They're opening, going on at like 6 o'clock, I hear. That's crazy to go on that early. But hey, you know, I guess it, uh, you know, for dudes that have jobs or kids or whatever in the morning, it's nice. But we're spending the night down there making a night of it. Probably going to tie one on. Who knows? <laughs> Just kidding. So, no. Well, we'll see what happens. Looking forward to it. Slayer, here we come, baby. Cheers. Drury Inn, downtown Columbus, getting settled, about to hit some dinner, Slayer Slayer, Slayer, Pantera. Heading there, it is cold as hell, there is the arena, line starting, it is seriously freezing, 20 degrees right now. Well, let's do it. Fucking what we do for Slayer, brother. That's right. So here we are at Ted's Montana Grill. Good looking menu. Hell yeah. What do you think? Waiting for drinks. Slayer. Slayer. So we're at this, I don't know, kind of nice steakhouse. I mean, I'd imagine it'd be pretty nice. One of the cool things is all the Slayer shirts we're seeing. Like, it's just something you don't normally see. A ton of Slayer shirts at a nice, at a nice uh, steakhouse. Fucking Slayer. That's right. Ted's Burger. Ted's Burger. Bison nachos. Sound for me. Let's see how it is. Sounds like you got to start a food blog too, huh? <laughs> We came, we smashed it. We smashed. For sure. Now it's on to Slayer. We're having Slayer. a little debate. Favorite drummer, Bo Staff or Lombardo? Bo Staff is just better, I believe. I can't give a reason really? why because I'm drunk, but he's better. Josh, you have an opinion? Ditto. Ditto. We're all Bo Staff dudes here. Yeah, I'm a Bo Staff guy. Lombardo, he's got those signature fills that are sick. And but I, anyways, I we're going to put a, a little more handsome. A little more handsome? Yeah, do that. I'm gonna put a little poll up here. Check it out. Tell us who's your favorite. All right, the line is looking way better here. After the dinner, we do not need tickets. It's looking good. Nationwide. Slayer, baby. Slayer. Slayer. Let's do this. Okay, so at this point, guys, we've entered the arena and we hear music playing. So it's probably like five after six. So sure enough, he went on right at six o'clock. Rush up the escalators, get to our seats, get seated. Everything's awesome. Um, and here I'm gonna just take you through some of Phil's in-between song banter, which is totally awesome. So enjoy. Let me hear you make some fucking noise. Thank you all very much, man. Thank you so much. Next song is called Strength Beyond Strength. Sing this if you know it, because you should. I'm going to send this one out 
to all the motherfuckers that grew up listening to Pantera about my age. Ooh, you motherfuckers. Thanks for the weed, Columbus. <laughs> Play this last song. Everybody who grew up with it, I want you screaming in the fucking ear of the fucking youngster next to you, making sure he learns a thing of fucking three. Thank you all very fucking much. We love you, man. Thanks for being awesome. Here we go. Let's end this motherfucker absolutely on the nose. Everybody, sing with me. And she's buying the stair fucking way. I'll send this next song out to Slayer, absolutely. fucking lutely This is one called New Level. So, Philip and Selmo and the Illegals were totally awesome. Sounded great. Phil sounded amazing, as usual. Sounds awesome. The band sounds great. That lead guitarist, he was hitting everything. Totally killer. Had a great time watching them. It was super cool to see. Super great to sing along. The crowd loved him. It was badass. Um, Ministry's up next, then Primus. I don't really care much about Ministry. I had the Psalm 69 record, I like a couple of those songs. Jesus Built My Hot Rod, New World Order, Just One Fix, a couple songs there. Primus I don't know anything about, so I'm looking forward to seeing them. Obviously, everybody knows my name is Mud from Beavis and Butthead, at least, stuff like that. Anyways, looking forward to seeing them, and then Slayer. Check back in soon. Peace. You want some more? This one's called Thieves! Thieves! This one's called Thieves! So here we're checking out a little bit of ministry. I gotta say I was blown away. Not expecting them to be as great as they were. The lights were great, the sound was great. Their sound guy Wedge used to be Camira's sound guy way back in the day. Uh, so totally cool. As you can see some people in the crowd here were feeling it. So ministry just finished up. And we were saying, Satan's called. We were just saying that we were impressed. I like them now more than I did before ever seeing them. I thought they were great. You said Satan's call. What? Ministry? I said a hell of a light show. Hell of a light show, yeah. Absorbed. Gets you sucked in. Good sound. Way to go, Wedge. Shout out to Wedge. Matt, did you have any opinion? Very on time. You didn't like them? All right. Hey. Teach their own. There's a fucking peanut gallery over there. Peanut gallery. That's right. We've been eating a ton of peanuts here. Primus up next. Okay, so for whatever reason, I didn't get any footage of Primus at all. Um, but once again, I was super impressed. They were totally awesome, super tight, super groovy, uh, great sound, and just totally deserving to be on the bill, which was cool because I, I had doubts about that. But they fit right in, they were, they were totally heavy, but in like a different kind of heavy. And it was really cool, and I'm definitely going to check out some more Primus. And um, yeah, I just, for whatever reason, I literally got like the last two or three notes of their set. And if that's enough to prompt you to want to go check them out, then so be it. But um, we weren't here for, for Primus. You're not watching this for Primus. So let's get to the main event. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the almighty Slayer.
Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You guys ready? guys enjoyed my recreation of uh, some classic Slayer tunes there. Had fun doing those. Um, at this point, I, I kind of didn't film any more of the Slayer show. Just kicked back and, and enjoyed it, which was crushing. Um, and then after that, we just uh, headed out, looked for the nearest watering hole to get a nightcap going. And right around the corner, there was a bar featuring Slayer, jamming Slayer tunes all night. And so we stopped in. Slayer was phenomenal. I can't believe what I just saw. I agree. Great show, good lights, good sound. Oh yeah, phenomenal. If, you want to, if you're a metal band, you want to be fucking Slayer. They're the baddest dudes on the block. Those backdrops sure. were awesome. The oh, backdrops yeah. and the pyro and everything, super cool. So yeah, definitely badass. Stop by this uh, badass. spot for a uh, some after show refreshments. Yeah, and, uh, uh oh, big of the go. devil. Yeah, they just right. appear. So it was a good night, heading down for some breakfast, and heading back to Cleveland, I guess. See you on the way there. Okay, Robbie, you drive like a lunatic. You're vlogging nonsense. These guys I think... I know Slayer was, was exciting and shit, but it's the next morning, man. It's time to chill out. It is. Next, next morning, season. arriving back home in Strongsville. What everybody think? Fucking outstanding. Blue, blew my mind. Banging. Highlight of the night? Definitely. Oh, fucking Slayer. <laughs> Feeling the sound a little close second, but Slayer. Yeah. I was impressed by everybody. Phil was totally awesome. Ministry impressed me. Primus impressed me. That beeping uh, of the seatbelt is not impressing me. Oh, so that's and, uh, no, and uh, you know, and Slayer obviously just that production, that uh, those backdrops and the lights. Slayer was amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Backdrop. Was amazing. Was yeah. backdrop. So, anyways, yeah, good trip, short little run, back here into the snowy Cleveland, back to the Bill, back to reality. Back to the Bill. All right. Slayer. See everybody later. All right, cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I had a great time putting it together. It was kind of cool just being able to relive some of that, those moments and everything. So, um, yeah, and let me know what you thought of this. If you guys if you guys like this, let me know in the comments below. Or if you didn't like it, if you did, I'll consider making more of them. You know, I got uh, a couple more shows coming up over the next couple of months, and kind of be fun to put something together, film it, and just kind of make a thing out of it. Or if you don't, then I won't make any more. Um, and while you're down there in the comment section. Tell me a little bit about Slayer 2. Like, what's your favorite album? If if you didn't get a chance to participate in that poll uh, earlier about uh, Lombardo or Bo Staff, tell me who your favorite drummer is. I'm curious. Uh, and finally, did you see Kamira on that 2001 God Hates Us All tour? Were you one of the people trying to boo us off stage? Uh, or did we turn you into a fan? Um, I'd love to hear it all. Uh, if you guys like this again, please give it a like. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed. And I uh, appreciate everybody being along uh, for the ride. Check out my Patreon page. What's Patreon? Follow the link in the description below, and you can check that out. Be a big help to me. Thanks again, everybody. See you on the next episode. Slay. It's all right. I'm in control. All right, Jim, here we go. Yeah. On the fly. Yeah, exactly. Favorite very, uh, Slayer moment. Go. Uh, or memory. Uh, when I fell on stage and the whole band was watching me, <laughs> and I I'm, walked after stage, or I got done playing, I walked after stage, or we got done, and I go, um, hey, Carrie King's in the glass room, and he goes, 
I go, how would you think that show? He's like, oh, you fell. I go, oh, do you think anybody saw? He's like, everybody saw it. I go, oh, God. I love that he calls it out. Yeah. I was just a, listen, young buck, I'm going to call him out. Yeah. And cool. I was like, oh, cool. So I guess you all watched. But I remember watching after I fell, I looked at it. I was like, oh, my God, they're all watching us. I'm like, that's whatever. Yeah. Hey, you know. at least Slayer was watching, right? Better to fall and be seen by Slayer than to not be seen by Slayer at all. That's yeah. what I you say. Know, those, those bands have never been, you know, that never toured with Slayer. I know. Losers. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. All right.